We present LiveCap, the first real-time monocular method for human performance capture that reconstructs dense, space-time coherent, non-rigid deforming geometry of entire human in general clothing just from monocular RGB video. Our live system is very easy to set up since it only requires a single low-cost webcam. Our method runs at 25 FPS on a modern GPU. The real-time performance allows the user to get a direct feedback which facilitates many real-time applications in telepresence, VR, and AR, such as virtual try-on. By retexturing the 3D template, the users can see themselves virtually in different apparel with live feedback. Our performance capture results enable free viewpoint rendering, which can be used for visual effects or 3D TV. Our method relies on a pre-processing step to reconstruct the actor model. To this end, we take a video with a handheld camera while walking around the subject who is standing in a static T-pose. A subset of the video frames is used to reconstruct a textured 3D template of the subject. To model materials different in non-rigidity, we apply the state-of-the-art human parsing method on the video frames and back project the resulting semantic labels onto the template. The per-vertex labels are then used to automatically adapt the rigidity regularizer weights during the non-rigid tracking. Finally, we rig the model with a kinematic skeleton. Here we show all of our template models from our dataset, which will be made publicly available. During real-time tracking, we fit the template to the input video using a novel two-stage GPU optimization method in a course-defined manner. In the first stage, our real-time skeleton pose optimizer fits the skinned template to 2D and 3D pose detection, to sparse detected facial landmarks, and to the foreground silhouette. Our pose detection is from the state-of-the-art real-time method of VNECT. While the template rigging with the pose detection of VNECT alone shows plausible results, there still remains artifacts. Adding facial landmarks clearly improves the head pose. And the silhouette term gives a more accurate pose in terms of image overlay. However, the skeleton driven surface does not accurately match the input images, since the non rigid deformation of skin and clothes cannot be modeled by skeletal motion. Therefore, in our second stage, dense non rigid 3D deformation of the surface is captured by minimizing a template-to-image alignment energy designed for real-time performance. Now we show more results. Note that the non-rigid deformation of the loose closes, which cannot be modeled by the skeleton tracking alone, is accurately captured by our full pipeline. Our real-time reconstructions are highly accurate and overlay nicely with the input. Also note that our reconstruction results accurately match the images captured from a reference view, which are not used for tracking. This means our reconstruction is accurate in 3D, even though our monocular setting is highly challenging.
our 3D reconstruction looks plausible from all viewpoints. Our method generalizes well to a large variety of motions. Even fast and challenging motions, such as 360-degree rotation and jumping, can be accurately captured. Here we show the texture reconstructions, overlaid on the empty background. Note that input and synthesized image are realistic due to our high reconstruction quality. Now we compare our approach to previous work. Here we compare against two monocular methods that capture only 3D skeletons. Only rigging our template with their results does not yield the same level of quality as our full dense performance capture method. Also note that our approach is the only one which can recover the head pose correctly. Our method come close in quality to the offline monocular performance capture method of Xu et al. However, note that our method is around 2,000 times faster than theirs. Please also note that our head pose is constantly better than the one of monoperf cap. As is common for learning methods, the underlying 3D joint regression deep network fails for extreme poses not seen in training. Our model fitting can often, but not always, correct such wrong poses which produces glitches in the tracking results. However, our performance capture approach robustly recovers from such situations. Thank you for your attention.